Yes. If not, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, welcome everybody to our recap, I guess you would say, of our first Rivals of NAS tournament. Uh, as you might know, this past Saturday was our first tournament of the semester, and while we do hope in the future to have these uh, replays come sooner, uh, we're doing it now. So thank you for joining us. And first, we are going to start with what I believe is the first match of Losers Quarters, which is Knight versus Teradex. What? We have Winner's Quarters. What I put? Yes, oh, it is Winner's quarter. Quarters. I misspoke. So we're good. Okay, just making sure. Alrighty. Alright, so right at the bat here, um... Knight, I've never... I think I played him once, but I can't remember if he went Edelus or not. And then Teradax, of course, me and, him, or me and her have played a ton. I feel like I've not seen this character ter um, that Teradax is playing yet. Oh yeah, this is Silvano, so basically... What you want to do is just cover the stage. It's a pretty campy character. Mm -hmm. He covers the stage with um, plants, and then he could use one of his specials to kind of uh, put a lot of hitboxes all over the stage. Yeah, kind of like with the electric ball thing. Uh... Yeah, and then as you see, it, all the vines rose up there. Yeah. So it's definitely um, pretty even right now. Oh yeah, it's almost dead even right now. Knight, of course, able to get his ice off. That should buy him some time in the rest of the stock. But Teradax, fortunately, is able to knock it right off as she takes a one-stock lead here. Narrowly da uh, dodges that up smash. Managed to get Knight off stage again. Getting stuck on this platform here. Teradax oh. getting a lot of extra credit right now. Yeah, she did a great job, especially catching him with that back air. Whiffs the up smash, unfortunately. Don't think it would have killed. Edelus is fairly heavy. It seems like Knight's having a difficult time um, really finishing the stock here, and you see Teradax able to take it away. Teradax so far, she's doing a great job. And spoke too soon, she got hit by that down smash, but still has a considerable lead here. Knight's going to have to do some pretty crazy gimp if he wants to bring this close. Yeah, once again, Knight not really able to get stage control here. Managed to get a decent little stream with Nairs. Oh, finishes off with the down smash. Tries to catch that recovery, but goes a bit too close to the ledge there. Tries to dodge that down smash, but Teradex holding it beautifully. Manages to get it off. Another down smash. Looks like Knight is now in KO range. Yeah. Seems like Knight's been opting to go really high with these recoveries, which... Gives Teradax a lot of time to set up here. Confirms into that up smash, and not impossible, especially with a character like Edelus. But it's just going to take Teradax one or two good hits here. Finish the stock. Oh, and yeah, there it is. It's over now. Yep, it's the up smash. So that is going to be game one for Teradax. Ethan, any insights there? I know um, you're new to the whole rivals thing, but I thought Knight brought it back pretty well, considering how uh, how big the lead was getting. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I think um, I think it definitely the Teradax was getting a little nervous, but she was able just to finish it off before it got any worse than that. Yeah. And we're moving on to game two. I like that fox thing, Wolf. Oh, Sylvanos. Yeah. I could see you using Sylvanos. I think I put him on the tier list I made for you of characters you like. I think Sylvanos is one of the ones that's up there. He's pretty campy. Yeah. I'm um, not really What's sure cool why though? Knight opted to go to this stage. It's not a bad stage for Edelus, but this is a really good stage for Sylvanos. Because... I think any, like, flat stage yeah. is good for campy characters. And it's relatively small, too, so... Teradax is able to get her vines and all that off pretty easily. And get good stage control. Oh, and she did a nice job there of cutting off the Edelus down B so he can't, um... Try and milk this stock. Oh, rolls right out of that before Knight can get the, do the down smash off. That's 
it's pretty even right now for the first stock. It's pretty similar to game one. Yeah, they've been kind of trading blows here, but oh, Knight's wow. going to fall right on top of that down smash. Pretty big call out by uh, Teradex. Yep. Finally catching the recovery and yep. punishing it appropriately this time. Teradex, unfortunately, not able to get much extra credit off on that stock. Kind of getting carried to the edge here. Knight is uh, going off right now. Yep. Big chunk of energy right there. Not energy. Uh, this might energy. be just me, but like getting hit by Edelus up smash or up air, excuse me, is like so disheartening because it launches you with like minimal effort. Yeah. It's the up tilt and the nair. He's Side B time. into down smash. Nicely done Knight by is Knight. Knight in the lead right now. Very yeah. different from game one. I think Teradax definitely could have di'd out of that, but I think she wanted to just try to get back on stage as soon as possible because Knight has been carrying her in the air this pretty much this whole game. Nice string right there. Yep. Oh, that could come to bite Knight. Fortunately, he's able to get that off before he gets punished for it. But, you know, when you this high a percent, it's definitely worth it sometimes to try to gamble and get that ice. It makes it much harder to kill him. See that knockback not really doing a whole lot. Nice. That was a really good setup by Teradex. A little scary that she got hit by the uh, the down B there, but manages to get out unscathed. Teradex looks like he's bringing it back pretty uh, consistently right now. Yeah, Knight seems to be like really challenging her anti airs, and it hasn't been working out for him because he ends up just getting caught in Plus huge strains. Recovery again. Look at that. Now yeah. uh, Teradex is in the lead actually. I think we're down on the wire here. Yeah, it's getting real close. Oh! That down smash is not going to take it just quite. Paradex try to go for it all there, and it might end up biting her. And it does, oh. that side smash takes her all the way up to the top blast zone. And Knight brings it to a game three. That's some close ma that was a close match. Yeah, wow. that was... Uh, I think that stage definitely made um, things a little easier for both characters. Mm -hmm. So when they got in like advantage, yeah. like they really re were able to run with it. So real quick here, moving on to game three. And Teradex deciding to take it to Frozen Fortress, which is definitely a map that I could see benefiting Sylvanos. A lot of room to work with here, but if you can even cover half that stage and kind of just sit at the other side of it, mm. it makes it really hard to approach. Knight doing a decent job here early on, though. And this first stock is taken by uh, Knight here. Racking up some early percentage. Oh, and Teradax managed to bring it a little bit closer. Just kind of waiting for Knight to try to move in there. Just like that, it's already even again. Opting for that high recovery again. Yeah, and it gives he gets a... Teradax the opportunity to kind of throw that flower up there and punish him for it, but manages to dodge at that time. Kind of waiting each other out. It seems like Knight's being a bit too hasty with his approaches here. Because while it can be kind of intimidating, having a Sylvanas just kind of sit there waiting for you, he also doesn't have really any more options than you do. Nice down yeah, smash there to catch that the, up B. Uh, calling out the recovery again. Let's see what Teradax can do with her last stack. Manages to fall out of that strain. Regain stage control on that up smash is not quite going to take it. Oh, and just sitting there waiting for him to go up. Paradox has, like, gotten pretty uh, hyper aware of these jumps and these, you know, high approaches that Knight's going mm -hmm. going for here. But I think that up smash, like, kind of covered that whole ledge anyway. So, really, Knight didn't have very many options. 
Ooh. That down smash could have been real real bad for Teradex. Knight dead here? No. Able to get back up without getting hit by the up smash. Really scary situation for Teradex. This time not getting uh, called out there. Yeah, I think uh, Knight was thinking that she would go for the same spot in the stage. Because she's been recovering to that same area. But she's able to adjust that time. Gets the back air off and it puts Knight in a really tough situation. Uses the side B to cover his approach. Manages to get behind her. Very close match right now. Yeah. Really next hit could be it. Another strain here. Yeah, yeah not it. great DI there by Knight at the end. Probably could have lived that, but still. Really great pressure there by Teradex as she ends up taking the set. Two to one. Alrighty. Um, so it looks like our next set is... Let's see here. Hen Arten versus Cobalt. Alright. Give me one second to edit this. Ethan, uh, what do you think about the whole set? Um, it was interesting, um, watching the, I feel like I haven't seen these two characters play yet, mm -hmm. so it was pretty interesting how their mechanics work. I can see how it's, uh, I feel like it's uh, frustrating for both sides because I feel like once the bear comes in or whatever that creature is called, yeah. can do some heavy damage and then, but, so the wolf thing has to do a lot of, uh, careful calculation uh, so that doesn't happen and then vice versa if he pretty easy it seems as the characters easily can get camped out yeah absolutely 